Certainly, there, there's a study out there that suggests that, not in humans, but in mice. So there, there's still a lot more work that has to be done to see if that is at the point to be seriously considered. And then the process for changing the rules has to be done. I, I think what's not fair to athletes, sports fans, all of us who, who are here for clean athletes and, and the integrity of sport, is you can't change the rules in the middle of the game. Let's go through the process that you know the, the rules are going to change in uh, 2015 to have four-year sanctions, and there was a lengthy process that went through. The whole world uh, provided input on that, and if we need to go through that process again based on some new scientific data that's that's good and sound, then you know we're happy to do that and then notify athletes in the world that that's what the rule is, and we'll play by the rules. Look, I, I hope I absolutely hope he comes forward. Um, I think everyone, as I said with Justin Gatlin, deserves a second chance. Now, the rules have to be enforced. There's a lifetime ban that's in place. There is some discretion to reduce it. But I, I hope for everyone that you know, goes through something like he did, made the choices that he made, that they find the opportunity, not just lip service, to you know, redeem themselves and take action, um, but, but take action in order to help truly clean up the sport. And, and we were extremely disappointed. I've said it before, it was the most frustrating day of the investigation back in June of 2012 when he refused to come in because we thought at that point with the momentum that was built along with his 11 uh, former teammates that this would have been a, just a cascade for the benefit of clean athletes. And so while we're slowly plugging along to get to that hopefully point where the sport truly changes, um, you know, we, we, we obviously hope he's a part of that at some point.